Welcome back, friends, to the Castro Valley News live show. My name is Roberto. Good evening, Tiffany. Tiffany is in the house. Tiffany is first for the roll call. My name is Roberto. This is the Castro Valley News live show. This is a live show that we do here on Castro Valley News Tuesdays and Saturdays from 7 to 8 p.m. It's a cool uh, way that we kind of... The, the community meets together. We talk about things that are on our mind, things that are happening in the neighborhood, things that are happening globally, locally, things, things that are just on our minds. Uh, and yes, the roll call is blazing right now. Tiffany is in the house. Tiffany just sent 100 stars. Tiffany has sent stars 20 weeks in a row. I think that's actually 21, but I'm going to go by this. Tiffany is the queen of sending stars. Again, Tiffany just sent 100 stars. Tiffany has sent stars. This says 20 weeks in a row. Good evening to Maggie. Maggie's in the house. Hope you're doing well. Good evening to Michael. Good evening to Maureen. Maureen just sent 100 stars. Maureen has sent stars six weeks in a row. Thank you so much, Maureen. Paulette is in the house. Paulette just sent 500 stars. Paulette has sent stars 18 weeks in a row. Thank you, Paulette. And Paulette just sent uh, an additional 50 stars, adding on to the 500 that she sent. Thank you so much, Paulette. You are awesome. Maggie is tagging Marlon, the real estate girls with the curls, Lygia. Lori is in the house this evening. Thank you for joining us, Lori. And Lori just sent 500 stars. Thank you, Lori, and welcome. Mark is in the house. Good evening to Mark. Hope you're doing well. Good evening, Michael. Michael is with us. So glad you can join us, Michael. Bob says, hello, last home game at the Shark Tank this season. A's are playing the Giants. Can't follow it here. Let Michael, <laughs> Let Michael do updates. Uh, Lori just sent uh, 50 more stars. Thank you so much, Lori. You are awesome. Maggie is taking Gabay. G-A-B-B-A-Y. Gabay. I love that name. Paulette is tagging Austin, Billy Ray, Janella, Rick, Ross, Nicolette, Nicholas and and Cole. Thank you, Paulette. You are awesome. Maggie just tagged Ingrid. Uh, let me give you some uh, information when it comes to the stars thing. Good evening, Kathy. Kathy is in the house. So glad you can join us. And Callie Life is in the house as well. All right. We've got some of the awesome regulars here. We've got Callie Life. We've got Michael. Mm, who could ask for anything more? Let me give you uh, some of the background when it comes to the, if you're sitting at home and you're wondering, golly gee, what is this stars thing? I'm going to let you know. There's an icon right here. You can click it. You purchase stars. They cost a couple bucks. Uh, you can purchase any amount of stars. Hank is in the house. He's over here doing a cameo. So you purchase the stars over here. Uh, it's a really super cool thing that Facebook has made of Facebook, whatever they are. Uh, they have set it up so uh, viewers of live content streams can support said creators of live content streams, which could be Castro Valley News. Uh, Paulette says, out to eat, cannot hear the show, but I'm here. Paulette, we are glad you're here. If you can't hear it, Paulette, you're awesome. Uh, so, yes, 
you can click the link right here. You purchase stars that cost a couple bucks. There's a smidge of your purchase price that goes to Facebook. The rest goes to the live content creator of your choice. Hopefully it's Castavelli News. If it's anybody else, that's fine too. Hank's making another walk-on appearance. Uh, Chrissy, thank you so much. Chrissy just sent 100 stars. Chrissy had sent stars three weeks in a row. Don is in the house. Don is in the house. I love you, Don, my friend. Karen is with us this evening. Karen says, golly gee, that is star worthy. There you go. Hank is in the house. Hank's just over here looking sleek and sassy and handsome. That's a good boy right there. Uh, Eileen is in the house. Eileen just sent 100 stars. Eileen has sent stars 18 weeks in a row. Eileen, you are awesome. Pardon me, I'm just uh, making notes of the star honor roll for tonight. Don, I'm going to give you a standing ovation with applause. Don, I love you. Thank you. Well, oh, I scared Hank. Sorry. Sorry, baby. It's okay. It's okay. Sorry. Hank is in the house. <laughs> Hank is here. Let me do this. I'll do this again. And hopefully I won't drop the camera. You see this? You see this? This handsome guy right here. This is, look at this guy. Oh my goodness. This guy right here. He is just too much. So photogenic. Uh, Gene is in the house. Welcome to the show, Gene. And Maggie is saying hello to everyone. If you're just tuning in, my name is Roberto. This is the Castro Valley News live show. We do this Tuesdays and Saturdays from 7 to 8 p.m. Karen just sent stars. Karen just sent 50 stars. Karen has sent stars five weeks in a row. Thank you so much, Karen. You are awesome. I appreciate your support. Yes, Paulette is giving a shout out to Hank. Hank is in the house. I hope you guys just saw me give that handsome guy a smooch. One of the pleasures of life. Just grab your dog and give him a kiss. Give him a hug. Let them know you love them. Don says he is the tag king. I agree. Don is the king of tags. He is also the king of making, of creating stars parties. Uh, Don, you are awesome. I appreciate you so much. I owe you a hug. Uh, Gene says Hank needs a chair next to you, but he might steal the show. Uh, Hank would definitely, he's stealing the show right now. Do you see this, this guy right here? Such a good boy. Such a sweet little man. AJ is with us. Welcome to the show. AJ, I'm glad you can join us. Don is tagging Tim. Don is tagging Becky. Mark says hugs to Hank. Yes. He's just doing the most adorable thing right now. He's just got his face on my lap. Oh, my God. This is uh, Tiffany says, we're dealing with COVID in our house. Aaron and one of my sons ended up with it. Oh, man, I am sorry to hear about that, Tiffany. I hope you guys are going to be well. Like you guys probably know, I got it a time ago, and um, I'm, hoping, I'm hoping that you guys got uh, the lighter version of it. The version that I got, I believe I got Delta. And um, it was it was nasty, um, and and I would be remiss in not mentioning uh, warm greetings to my friend Dennis. Dennis, welcome to the show. Dennis just sent two hundred stars. Dennis has sent stars nineteen weeks in a row. Thank you so much, Dennis. You are awesome, and I appreciate your support so much. Don is tagging Rebecca and Jeremy. Maggie is tagging Sanaf. Don is tagging Jennifer. Uh, Don is tagging Jennifer, and a different Jennifer. Uh, Michael says, we had some crazy things going on here in Amador County. Happened at the county jail where there was a, a f was fentanyl exposure. Oh, man. That stuff is dangerous. Uh, it can be deadly in small, small, minuscule doses. And uh, Alameda County Sheriff's just did a gigantic uh, fentanyl bust. 
in um, uh, I think it was a million dollar bust or something, an enormous bust of fentanyl in San Leandro and Hayward. Uh, Michael, stay away from that stuff. I know you are anyways, but that stuff is nasty. Don is tagging Brian and Jamie. Uh, AJ says, best taco spot in Castro Valley. That is, I'm just going to go uh, best Mexican uh, eatery is going to be the taqueria across from Trader Joe's. Hands down. Hands up, hands down, whatever, either or. Mark says prayers to Tiffany and your son. Yes, Tiffany, uh, sending vibes of healing to you guys. That COVID, uh, depending on, like I said, which which version version you get is it, it can be nasty. Don is taking Paula, Kathy, Katrina, Catherine, Kathleen, Miles. Also tagging. Uh, oh, Ross is in the house. Welcome to the show, Ross. Janella is with us again. Janella, you've been gone for a minute, and we are glad that you have returned. Uh, Ross, yes, I want to give Ross another shout out. Welcome back to the show, Ross. Thank you for joining us. Don is tagging Billy Ray as well. Uh, AJ says COVID is no joke. Uh, AJ, completely accurate. Yes, I got Delta a couple months ago and uh, had the chills. They were multiplying, literally. <laughs> I made a terrible grease reference there. Um, Tiffany says, fortunately, uh, her family are having mild COVID symptoms. I'm happy to hear about that. That's awesome. Janella just sent, mind blown, Janella just sent a thousand stars. A thousand, uh, oh, Janella, you are awesome. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you for, and Janella is, Janella, oh, I'm so glad I can mention this. Uh, Janella was in our most recent magazine. She purchased an ad in our most recent magazine right here. Janella Anguiano is a Century 21 real estate agent. And I believe we have, I'm pretty certain, we have some folks in uh, with the Castro Valley Sanitary District. They are listening in. Thank you to CB San for your support in the form of an advertisement in our most recent magazine i'm trying to fold it to the front cover oh it's gonna be the last page i find here you go our most recent magazine uh castor valley news magazine these are free they they're full color they go out to local businesses uh quarterly sometimes more recent than that uh janella was in hawaii aloha aloha to you as well uh janella says chamber castor valley eden area chamber of commerce mixer 428 at Dig Deep Farms, 530 to 730. Mark your calendar. Uh, Don. Don is in the house. Don just sent 50 stars. Thank you, my friend. Don has sent stars five weeks in a row. Uh, Michael's asking, did Mick J get reported for a policy violation? He said that Facebook canceled his account after attending this broadcast last week. Uh, but didn't know what he did to deserve that. Uh, Michael, nobody here uh, tagged or reported or or uh, omitted or deleted anything that Mick J did, so I'm not sure. I have no idea what's going on with that, Michael. And um, yeah, there you go. Moderator is just confirming it, not by us. So um, uh, apologies to Mick J for that. Had nothing to do with us. Uh, I would welcome Mick J back with, with open arms. I love his comments and, and I love seeing when he's participating with us. 7.13. Janella says, go to the Chamber Facebook page to register for the Mixer. Would love to see you folks there. There you go. Thank you for bringing that to our attention, Janella. And if I can find that in the comments, I will mention that again. So yes, Dig Deep Farms, they are located, uh, it's Fairmont Avenue. It's the former Fairmont Animal Shelter. And uh, the Castro Valley Eden Area Chamber of Commerce Mixer is the 28th in two days. Dig Deep Farms, 5.30 to 7.30. Thank you to Janella for bringing that to my attention. And thank you so much to the Castro Valley Eden Area Chamber of Commerce for all the wonderful stuff that you guys do in the community. Janella says hello to Paulette. And Paulette says hello right back at you. I want to mention something that we've uh, 
Ross says hello to Janela as well. I want to mention this one more time. We posted this on the page a couple days ago. I think it was actually yesterday. It got a lot of traction and a lot of interest. Uh, I am doing this. Uh, you're welcome, Michael. Uh, he says, thank you for clearing that up. Mick loves you guys. We love Mick. Mick is awesome. Uh, I, we did nothing. I, I saw nothing offensive from Mick J. Mick J is always above board and super respectful when he makes his, when he comments and participates. So it's got nothing to do with us. And, and Mick J is always welcome back here. Um, do, do, do Janella says hello to Ross. Classy canine wiggle rumps in the house. They are on Castavelli Boulevard across the street from Pete's Ace Hardware, two doors down from One Bad Apple. Thank you for joining us, Misty, and your wonderful folks at Classy Canines Wiggle Rumps. What a great shop you guys are. And yes, uh, Classy Canine Wiggle Rumps, they're going to have a grand opening event this Friday. There's going to be free pampering things for your pooches, and there's going to be refreshments, and there's going to be awesome face-to-face -face time with Misty and her wonderful staff. Since we're talking about dogs, this is something awesome that we are doing here at Casarelli News, and there are other people who are volunteering to help out with this in a financial way. My mom donated, donated some cash for this. Um, I'm ponying up some cash for this. Uh, anybody who is going to be adopting a dog in the near future from a shelter, uh, Classy Canines Wiggle Rumps, uh, the event is this Thursday. The ribbon cutting at Classy Canines Wiggle Rumps will be this Thursday. I believe it starts uh, in the afternoon, but they will be giving away, um, of course, valuable information when it comes to pet grooming, and uh, there will be uh, free refreshments and cool stuff for your pets. And yes, this Thursday at Classy, at Classy Canines Wiggle Rumps, they will be doing the big ribbon cutting with the Castro Valley Eden Area Chamber of Commerce. I apologize, I think I said Friday. If I did, it is Thursday at noon. Free re refreshments and uh, all sorts of cool, amazing information. And I think, I think, and I, I'm, I might be speaking at a turn here, I think there were going to be some freebies when it comes, there you go. Thank you, Classy Canine Wiggle Rumps. I don't want to speak out of turn. Gifts for pet owners and yummy food. That is 12 noon ribbon cutting at Classy Canines. Wiggle Rumps on Castro Valley Boulevard. They're awesome folks, and they do great, great work. We are talking about dogs, and I am talking about dogs, and we are talking about dogs. Hank is a shelter dog. He can There you go, Classy Canine says, free pet nail trims from one to three. I'm bringing Hank. Look at that. That's the, that is a deal. Free is the best price indeed. When we're talking about free and we're talking about dogs, let's talk about the dog adoption program that we're starting here at Castro Valley News that has quite a bit of interest uh, and some momentum. I know there's at least one or two people who are interested in, in uh, participating in this program. Uh, my mom has... Uh, forwarded some financial information information some mon mom has forwarded fi uh, monetary units to me in support of this uh, mom gave me money for this I have money for this if you would like to uh, forward your money to this shoot me an inbox message or send me an email text me um, send me a, a carrier pigeon whatever you want to do uh, dog adoptions from shelters I will be paying for them. We will be paying for them. They will be free. Uh, shelter dogs are that awesome. They are that lovely and wonderful and loving. As as many of these as that I can do, and as many of these uh, <laughs> that can be done, I will do. I think it's it's super important to. Uh, someone commented that uh, let's shut down the puppy mills, and I I've got nothing against people who want to go and purchase a Boston Terrier or they want to buy a multi multi poo multi poo that would be more than one multi poo <laughs> multi poo that's what happens when you eat bad food and you end up in the bathroom too many times that's a terrible joke sorry about that 
but the, I, I don't like puppy mills. I, I personally don't like hearing uh, about people who are buying $4,000 dogs or, or whatever when there's so many shelter doggos uh, that need a home, that they need a loving person to take care of them. So if you are going to adopt a dog in the near future, someone just sent stars. Misty just sent 500 stars. Misty has sent stars three weeks in a row. Misty, you are awesome. Thank you. And I appreciate your support, Misty. Thank you so much. Misty is the owner of Classy Canines Wiggle Rumps. They're going to have the ribbon cutting this Thursday at noon. Thursday at noon on Castle Valley Boulevard. It's going to be the place to be. Getting back to the dog, 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 dog adoption. I'll, I'll get back to the remote. Micaiah is in the house. Good evening to you. Micaiah, I hope you are having a wonderful evening. Micaiah just sent 200 stars. Micaiah has sent stars four weeks in a row. Micaiah owns Restore and Rework on San Carlos Avenue. Awesome shop. There's upcycled, recycled, uh, vintage antique things that are made and refurbished to look like new. There's a plethora of vintage stuff that is awesome. If you're looking for a shop, this is not a paid ad, guys. If you're looking for a shop that has cool, cool vintage stuff, Restore and Rework is going to be your shopping destination. Cool, cool stuff. The owners are awesome, too. So Restore and Rework, thank you so much, Makai. You are awesome. Kimberly is in the house. Welcome to the show. Kimberly, I hope your bowling game is good, and I hope you're doing well. Getting back to the dog adoption thing, I swear I'm going to actually explain this <laughs> thoroughly this time. My mom and I, we are ponying up money to pay to reimburse people who are adopting dogs from shelters. We're going to do this as long as we can with, uh, with however much money that we can. And uh, uh, shelter dogs are just awesome. Um, like I said, Hank is a shelter dog. He came from Berkeley Animal Care Services a lot of years ago. And uh, Hank uh, has brought so much joy and love and happiness to my life. I would like to sprinkle some of that shelter love and amazing awesomeness to other people. Uh, Don says Donna is on right now. Welcome to the show, Donna. Donna, uh, Bob says, I had to arrange an emergency dog rescue in Livingston County, Michigan last Friday. The people at the County Animal Control, the Sheriff's Office in Michigan, Humane, were awesome while dealing with him 2,500 miles and three time zones away, all caring for the pup that need needed caring. Bob, I salute you and I salute all of the volunteers with shelter organizations and shelters everywhere. The folks at Berkeley Animal Care Services are amazing. They are awesome volunteers. Whenever I take Hank out to the park, the off-leash dog park that is near where we got him from, the folks who volunteer with, with uh, Berkeley Animal Care Services still, still, to this day, recognize Hank. Uh, he was Roscoe then. And, you know, they go, oh, it's Roscoe. And, oh, he is, he's, he's old. And he is. Uh, I've had him over 10 years. And like I said before, it's been 10 years of, of love and affection and just awesomeness. So if you, uh, a Castro Valley resident, we're, we're crafting some a, a few loosey-goosey rules to this uh, program. You have to be a Castro Valley resident. You have to get your dog from a shelter. We will reimburse you after 90 days of you having that dog. And I, I want to thank, uh, oh gosh, what's her name? Uh, uh, Judy. Julie, Julie, Julie. Julie G., uh, I want to thank Julie G for bringing forth that important um, part of the program where people should have the dog for over uh, 90 days so that, you know, 
it's established that this person is going to be keeping that dog. Barbara's in the house. Welcome to the show, Barbara. Barbara just sent 500 stars. Barbara has sent stars eight weeks in a row. Barbara, you're awesome and appreciated. Thank you so much. So all you have to do is if you are going to adopt a dog from a shelter in the near future, make some photocopies of your shelter fees, send them over to me, and we'll get the ball rolling on that. And we'll get you reimbursed after, after like I said, the 90-day grace period. Um, and we can't do these retroactively. There have been a couple people who messaged in as soon as we posted um, we posted something up yesterday about this. There were a couple people who were interested in, in they had, you know, just last week or a couple weeks ago, they adopted a dog, which I appreciate, I respect, I love that. I, I'm so on board and I, like I said, thank those folks so much, but we can't do them retroactively, but we will be doing them going forward from uh, yesterday. So please, if you are adopting a dog, or if you're looking for a dog, just go adopt one. Go look at the shelters. Do yourself a favor, and and I I dare you, I dare you. Eric is in the house. Thank you so much for joining us, Eric. Eric just sent a hundred stars. Eric has sent stars five weeks in a row. Eric, you are awesome. I dare you, I dare you to go to a shelter and not have your heart melt at some of the dogs that are there. Uh, spend a little bit of time with a couple of them if you're looking for a new pet. A new doggo. We're just doing dogs for now. Um, uh, Don says Paul is in the house. Paul, I love you, my friend. You are awesome. Go to a shelter if you're looking for a, a new dog in your family, and and I I dare you, I dare you to not have your heart melt at at some of these dogs that that need your your care, your affection, your home, and uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna get off that because I'm gonna start crying because I I love Hank so much. He has brought just so much joy to my life. Uh, Hank was my best friend when I felt like I didn't have any other friends. Uh, I, Mom, I, I know you've always been there, but there are some times when, when uh, I've been alone here in, <laughs> uh, in the stew of my emotions or, or whatever, um, Hank, Hank has saved my life numerous times. My mom has saved my life too as well. Christian, Christian is in the house. Welcome to the show, Christian. Uh, mom is in the house too, but I didn't, I didn't. Oh, oh, oops, 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 oops. My mom texted me early before the show started. This is super cute. She had her text ready, what she was going to say, but she sent it too soon. Uh, mom is in the house. Mom says, hello, Castro Valley. Battle of the Bay is tonight. Go A's and buy some ads with Casarelli News. Mom, you are awesome. Uh, Michael, uh, did I see your comments about dogs winning the Midway giveaway tonight? No, uh, but let's let's have the dogs win. Uh, Kimberly is asking, where is Hank? Hank is chilling on the couch behind me. Just chilling. Mark says hello to mom. Maggie says hello to mom as well. Uh, we should definitely get to the midway giveaway real soon. Uh, Michael says hello to mom as well. Adria says best decision their family ever made getting a shelter dog. I did not adopt Hank. It's a funny story. Uh, uh, Misty says hello to mom. Mom, I love you. Hello. Misty is also saying hello to Hank. He's behind me. Ross says hello, mom, as well. Hi, mom. I love you. You know that. Uh, I uh, Hank was adopted by my ex, and uh, Jean is saying hello to mom as well. I was lucky enough. I got <laughs> I got custody of Hank, and um, probably one of the best things that that ever 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 happened to me. Uh, I ended up. Uh, during that past relationship, not with Hank. Hank is <laughs> Hank and I are still in a relationship. Uh, not really. I'm his dad. Um, I ended up being the alpha for Hank, uh, just based on the sheer amount of time that he and I spent together outside of that other relationship. And I don't want to dig too much into that <laughs> ugly <laughs> bone yard of of my past. 
but uh, me, me and Hank ended up being like peanut butter and jelly, like uh, <laughs> like unicorns and rainbows. I just I I didn't like Hank at first, and I think I said that before. He he annoyed me. I was more of a cat person at that point, but he he warmed me over. He melted my heart, and he is uh, Hank. He he's he's my boy. He is my heart at this point, and uh, I love him a great deal. With that said, uh, perfect timing for the midway giveaway. Yes, Michael, time for the Midway Giveaway. Uh, good evening, Karen. Welcome to the show. Uh, Karen says, don't scare Hank, poor dog. Just kidding. Um, Maggie and Don, you guys are awesome. You are tagging so many people, and I appreciate that. Uh, Kimberly says she loves her fur baby. Hank is my son. He's my child. Uh, Gene says you win hands down and so did Hank. I think I I think I won. Uh, <laughs> Audra says I never thought I could love a pet so much. All my planned rules of not sharing a couch, bed, life out the window. Uh, the first night Bandit came into our lives 14 years ago. Uh, at our former spot in Berkeley, uh, it was a Cali, Cali King bed. So the situation was very different with that bed. bed. I have a queen here, and also because of Hank's mobility issues, he's not very comfortable on the bed, so I, I sleep on the couch here with with Hank, and I love it because it allows me to be right here and, you know, put both my arms around him. I hold him like my child as we sleep, and uh, it's, it's how I roll here. I love Hank, and if there's anyone out there who thinks that pit bulls are violent, and ugly and aggressive. Come meet Hank. C come meet Hank, and I'll change your mind. He'll change your mind in two seconds. Uh, dogs will. Uh, I was just talking to my friend about this today because he he came over here and he saw Hank. Uh, dogs kind of take on the personality of their owners. I am a dog whisperer, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sprinkle some information on you guys here. Uh, if you are erratic, if you are violent, if you uh, fly off the handle with your anger, uh, your dog's going to be like that too. If you are mellow, if you are chill, if you are loving, if you are affectionate, your dog's going to be just like that. Uh, Maggie says, Hank is beautiful. Thank you so much. And I have, I have strived to um, lead in a good way i guess because I, I i read i did a lot of reading when it came to um how you should uh raise your dog or or train your dog i would i prefer train to raise i mean i prefer raise to train because you're raising your dog it's a, it's a it's a little it's a little sentient being you've got to nurture it uh so i did a lot of learning and, and educating myself when it came to how to have a good temperament with your dog and that was that was that's the cornerstone that is the foundation right there if you are going to abuse your dog your dog is going to abuse you or someone else if you leave your dog chained up outside your dog is going to uh, become very angry with you and it's going to lash out at something somewhere somehow and dogs are not meant to be in my humble opinion dogs are not meant to be left outside in, in the elements they're they're supposed to be in here with you part of your family Anyways, I'm gonna step off that soapbox for a moment. If you, if you guys wanna, <laughs> you wanna have a whole hour talking about dogs and raising dogs and how to treat them right and how uh, basically, um, like anything else, uh, with a dog, any child, any relationship, uh, your output is going to be the input. So what you put into it is gonna be what you get out of it. Uh, sometimes it's not always the case, but you can, you can. Damn it, you can try. Anyways, uh, let's get to the midway giveaway, guys. Thank you for indulging me in imparting my k wisdom. I appreciate that. With that said, tonight's question is kind of easy. It's pretty easy. But I want to let you know, I've got another $20 gift certificate to AJ's Attic. Another awesome business 
on San Carlos Avenue, a couple doors down from Restore and Rework. Uh, AJ's Attic is, I think it's one of my, it's definitely in my top five favorite antique shops. Uh, shout out to Arnie at AJ's Attic. He's going to be closing sometime soon. He, unfortunately, he lost his lease. So he's looking to move to probably another location in uh, Castor Valley, maybe San Leandro or Hayward. But Arnie uh, has a ton of cool stuff. He still has stuff left over. Uh, he is trying to liquidate what he's got left because he, he's got a packed, packed shop. Uh, yes, Michael says, let's get on with the... Michael, it's midway giveaway, my friend. <laughs> I love how Michael says it's the midday giveaway. If we could actually do a show at at eleven thirty in the morning, we could get to <laughs> the midday giveaway at noon. Michael, I love you, and our moderator was just awesome enough to share the link to AJ's attic. Uh, unfortunately, like I said, he lost his lease. He's going to be closing sometime soon. I need to get to uh, the business of doing this because we have. Uh, Mr. Roland Williams, uh, general manager with CB San, is going to be calling in at uh, 7.40. So I have five minutes to do the Midway giveaway. And I apologize for being late, but we will definitely get to Roland on time because I want to hear what he's got going on with the new building and um, the other good stuff with CB San. So $20 to AJ's Attic. The Midway Giveaway works this way. The first person to either text 510-331-9112. I'll give you that one more time. 510-331-9112 or post in the comments wherever the thread is in, in correlation to where I am. Post in the comments. The first person to post the correct answer in the comments or text me wins $20 to AJ's Attic. And yes, uh, as Don says, Arnie has G.I. Joe action figures. He's got vintage ashtrays. He's got cool vintage cameras. He's got all sorts of stuff. He's got vintage trains. He's got uh, slot machines. He doesn't have too many of those left, but uh, Arnie's got a plethora of awesome, awesome stuff. The Midway giveaway question tonight is, uh, this one uh, is close to my heart. Uh, what was the super popular feature in the Castor Valley Forum newspaper that disappeared a few years ago. And I'll give you that one more time. What was the super popular feature in the Castor Valley News, uh, Castor Valley News, whoa, in the Castor Valley Forum newspaper that disappeared a few years ago? 510-331-9112 is the phone number to text, or you can post in the comments there. Please answer soon because uh, we gotta get to Roland Williams. Uh, Don, the guest, Crime Watch. No, uh, the police reports are still in the forum. Mark is guessing dog pictures. Wait, Paulette got it. Congratulations, Paulette. Whoa, look, they just flew in. Paulette is correct. The question thing, which was the question of the week. Yes. Um, do, 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 do. Mark says dog pictures, they're still in there. Maureen says the recipes, they actually uh, reappeared. Uh, Bob got it correct, man on the street, but Bob, you were edged out by Paulette. Paulette, congratulations. I have your gift certificate. I know how to find you and I will bring this to you. Also, Paulette, I can, I can if you want, I can send you another uh, sticker here if you want, if not. That's fine as well. Mark says, Paulette, you're awesome. And Don says, congratulations to PSJ. There you go. Anybody listening that wants one of these snazzy Casarelli News live stickers, they're vinyl. They don't fall apart in, in wet weather. They will stick to your bumper, to the inside of your locker, to your microphone. You name it. These things are cool. If you want one, send me an inbox message or whatever, and the postage is on me. I will send you one to your home. These are super cool. Uh, four by four inches. They are awesome. Um, Maggie says, congratulations to Paulette. Uh, Don says that Stacy is listening. Welcome to the show, Stacy. 
Denise says she loves the stickers. There you go. We have a unpaid <laughs> testimonial from Denise. Denise, welcome to the show. Thank you for joining us. Uh, I want to make sure I don't miss any comments here. Uh, Misty said, congratulations to Paulette. Uh, Mark says, Paulette, you are awesome. Oh, Donna's saying flick it. Yeah, they are vinyl. They're not going to go anywhere. Affix them to whatever surface that you would like. <laughs> Mom just sent in her answer. She got it correct as well. And again, the correct answer to the question was the question of the week. And uh, oddly enough, uh, the, <laughs> the midway giveaway question was directly associated with me because when I worked for the Castro Valley Forum, I did the question of the week every week <laughs> for a couple of years, for quite a few years. It was fun. It allowed me to meet a lot of pet people. And here's Roland. Roland, perfect. Right on time. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Thank you for joining us. Congratulations on 20 wonderful years with CB San. Uh, you know, interacted with each other over the years, and I, um, I've always appreciated your uh, commitment to Castro Valley, and I just, uh, I celebrated with everybody here in, 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 in CB San. Roland, I, I have appreciated my interactions with you as well. You've always been uh, professional uh, and honest, which I really, really appreciate that you've always been like an open book with any question that I've had. Great, great. And, and in full disclosure, there have been stories where I have, I have gotten things incorrect and done, done my best to go back and make those things correct. Isn't that everybody's story, right? <laughs> it, it is. Like my dad says, my pencils have erasers too, and and I, I've always, I've always wanted to be completely accurate, and unfortunately, it's it's not always been the case. But I've I've always done my best to come back and uh, and correct the things that have gone wrong. So some people are saying that they can't hear you and I'm, I just want to make sure that people can actually hear you now because I didn't have you on speakerphone at first and now I do. So is everyone hearing Roland okay now? Hello everybody. Can everyone hear Roland at this point? I appreciate your patience with this, Roland. Just want I just want I want to make sure everyone can hear you. Uh, and I'm not seeing any. Okay, they can hear you. All right, right on. Thank you for your patience, patience, Roland. Uh, I want to start off. Actually, what are some of your fondest uh, recollections in the past twenty years with CB Sam? Wow, there's there's so many things. You know, um, firstly, you know I. Obviously, it's been 20 years, so it was 2002. Um, I had a lot more hair, uh, <laughs> as you probably remember. I had a lot more hair, too. <laughs> I used to uh, I used to wear, a, um, uh, you know, I had my hair back uh, in a ponytail for quite a while. That was fun. Yep. Um, so, <laughs> I'll let you know how long I've been at it. Um, around the time I started, uh, one of the first things we did uh, was we started the... Um, Recycled art contest, and then the the, the, the recycled art calendar. Love that. Um, and, and as you know, the calendar has been around for a little bit more than twenty years. It actually started in two thousand and one. Um, uh, not that I have any claim to fame, but my uh, the first calendar I was actually a photographer. Uh, oh. So you probably go look at those pictures and be like, "Who took those pictures?" Well, that was me. It's always been and, fantastic. And after a while, they got turned over. As you know, Mike Nelson does it now. And, I love Mike. Uh, they're unrecognizable to when I took the pictures back in back in 2001 and 2002. Mike's awesome. Uh, so I really enjoyed that. Uh, one of the first major uh, projects that we did was we did a big capacity restoration project down at the, the treatment plant, the Oroma Castro Valley uh, treatment plant. And we spent, you know, uh, 
that project was about $26 million uh, upgrading the treatment plant, treatment plant. And so, you know, I, I guided that project through along with the staff there, there at Oroma. And, um, you know, throughout the years, we have continued to do such projects. Um, and as you know, that treatment plant is a, is, a, is a leader in the Bay and in California in terms of a lot of the things that it's doing in terms of its uh, energy efficiency, um, you know, harvesting energy from solar, from, um, uh, from the, the, the methane gas that's produced at the plant. Um, and so we've done a lot of things to, to really make the plant efficient and to work. We were energy neutral for a while. We did some upgrades to address um, nutrient removal uh, from the bay, uh, which, which, which increased our energy demand. And now we're working to get back to, uh, to be energy neutral. Um, and so, you know, those are things that, you know, we're really proud of because in order to create high um, quality water, which we do and discharge into the bay, um, that also there's a high demand of energy. And, and so always thinking about that within the projects we're doing or something that uh, we are particularly um, proud of. Uh, one of the things that, that just came to mind since you met, since you, you've been with the, with the district for 20 years is there have been some interesting uh, negotiations uh, and contract situations with waste management. Uh, yes, absolutely. Um, in 2001, um, we uh, we had negotiated a contract with waste management, and we were uh, one of the first agencies. Well, we were the first first agency in Alameda County, and one of the first agencies in California to have organics collection. Uh, along with uh, recycling and garbage. Um, and so we were one of the first agencies that really started doing that on full scale. And as you know, right now, uh, basically the rest of the state is kind of catching up to that. Mm -hmm. and, and with uh, SB 1383 uh, requiring um, jurisdictions to go to uh, organics collection as a way of reducing, um, you know, uh, CO2 emissions. And so you know, we've been on, on the forefront of that. And so that, that um, contract was uh, one of the first contracts I was involved in with uh, CB Sand. And, you know, I just remember back then, everybody was saying, can I really put my bones and meat and, and all my food scraps into, into my organics bin? Won't that, won't that ruin it? And obviously we just had an event this weekend where we gave back a lot of that compost to the community. That compost that was given out uh, at Recycles Day um, on last weekend was compost that was derived from people putting their, their food scraps into the organics uh, then, that then gets processed and then has, was coming back uh, to the community. That's awesome. And I heard uh, the Recycles Day was a runaway success. There was a waiting list for, for people to come up and participate? Yeah, so, you know, th this year um, is a little different from the perspective of we've, um, we've gone to appointments, and, and I shouldn't say just this year. This is the, actually the second year that we've done this. Through COVID, we, you know, we wanted to make sure that we were able to manage the number of people that came through. If uh, probably some of the callers would probably remember that back in the day, uh, we just we would just open the gates at, at uh, 8 o'clock and mm -hmm. let people come through, and we a lot of times would have a big traffic jam that would snake down all the way to Crow Canyon from Canyon Middle School. Yeah. And so by now going to the appointments, we've been able to mirror that out throughout the day. And so um, um, we've been able to be a lot more efficient. One of the things I was concerned with was, again, with our efforts to make sure that we don't have, you, you know, we're, we're not adding to the problem in terms of carbon emissions and things like that. Having cars sit in a queue for, you know, up to an hour just doesn't feel like that's really the CB Sand way. That's awesome. So the appointments now actually get people to move through our event much more efficiently without sitting in traffic just kind of, you know, with their, with their motors running and, and having emissions go out. So, you know, kind of the learning curve and maybe some folks have experienced that, you know, we sold out. You know, it's a very popular event. And I know there were some people that were turned away, 
because we we did sell sell out of um, uh, of the appointments, and uh, we had thirteen hundred cars wow. uh, come to the event. And and um, but don't worry, we are going to have another event on July twenty third. And if you missed out on this one, unfortunately, because you weren't able to get one of those uh, those spots. You know, if you if you follow us on Facebook or Instagram or Twitter, or if you go to our website, uh, you know, there's there's ways you can see when we're going to open it up again in July. And so people who, who for whatever reason, weren't able to get an appointment, um, you know, just a few months from now, we're going to do it all over again. And hopefully people who didn't get an opportunity to participate can sign up and participate in July. Mike will probably send me the, the flyer and I'll share it and make sure people people are, are aware of that. What um, I actually had two questions that I wanted to ask, but since we're talking about Earth Day, what were the things that people uh, came up to recycle? So um, you were able to, we, we've always been doing the e-waste uh, where you can bring old uh, devices, right? Old computers, phones, cords, um, Printers, calculators. Uh, every, every now, go say that, say that again. Printers, calculators, things like that. Yeah, printers, calculators. What I was going to say is some of the more obscure things. Every now and then, you get an eight-track tape. <laughs> oh, <laughs> save <laughs> those for <laughs> eBay. Player or something. You know, you, we see it all, but but all those things have um, components. And again, this is one of those pro programs that we started probably twenty years ago or so, and it was one of those things where we saw a need. Um, we were hearing about. Um, uh, we were hearing about, um, um, you know, uh, um, electronic waste going to third world countries and, and literally they were having children pull out the, uh, the precious metals and, and the other components and we're like, that's not right. And so we actually worked with a, a dismantler in Hayward. Uh, this was before any of the e-waste programs were in place with, the, with, the, with California or anything. and. And it was because, firstly, we think there's a there's a life, a useful life for those um, materials, and they should be responsibly dismantled. And 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 so, we had, the first time we did that program, it was a success, and we've been doing it ever since. So, um, and the e-waste is just one piece of it. We did shredding. Um, there was uh, tires you could bring up. Um, you could bring up. Um, you know, uh, mattresses, um, um, hazardous waste, uh, and then of course you could get your compost as well. That's great. Uh, the the other thing that I wanted to ask is how has COVID changed the day to day operations and business structure? How things are getting done at CB Sand? From wastewater to uh, you know line repairs, replacements, um, the the contract with um, uh, ACI. How is how is COVID affecting the overall uh, day to day operations of, of everything that you guys do? Yeah, thank you for that question, uh, Robert. That's a that's an important one. Um, when COVID first hit in March of 2020. Um, we had to make a we had to make a, a big shift in operation. Um, one of the things we always focus on is customer service. In fact, uh, strategically, us as an organization, customer service is is literally one of our highest goals as an organization. And and you know, meaning that we want to continue to deliver all the services that uh, our our customers have come to expect. So while we in effect, closed down our offices um, and had a lot of people working from home who, who could do that. Um, there were still a lot of people in the office. In fact, I came into the office every day, um, masked up and, you know, would be sequestered in my office. But, um, uh, you know, one of the things that, but we also have a lot of staff that that was not possible. We had our folks on the, on the ground that would do the, um, the, the maintenance of the, the collection system, the lines, the, the lines in the street, that, that all continue. Uh, one of the things we like to say is it's 24-7, 365 days a year. And that uh, continued all the way through COVID. Um, and because at the end of the day, 
uh, wastewater and, and, and solid waste surfaces are essential services. Um, because all you got to ask a person is that, how long do you think you can go without your sewer? Mm -hmm. How long do you think you can go without flushing the toilet or, or letting, you know, water flow down your drain? Not very long. Right. And, and, when, and when you push those uh, carts to the curb, you expect them to get picked up. And so we did that throughout this whole um, pandemic. And it wasn't easy. So, like I said, I really do appreciate that question. But... You know, it kind of showed the resolve of our staff. Our staff was highly committed to making sure that we continue to provide the services that we can do. As you know, we had a little pivot. Um, we actually did a compost uh, pickup where people went, could get it from Pete's at one point because uh, mm -hmm. even the school district said we couldn't use the, 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 the grounds up at Canyon Middle School, but we still wanted to get compost out to people. So we had we we had we had partnered with Pete uh, so that people could go there and pick up the compost. We um, uh, really leaned into uh, people doing th things uh, through the website and contacting us electronically for um, donations, for carts and bins, for for services that they needed. Um, we still went out on service calls uh, to make sure that our lines were. We're, we're, we're operating properly, um, and we still we still did projects uh, during that whole time. And of course, that we also had to follow all the social distancing um, protocols, protocols yeah. masking, and all of that throughout that whole process. Wow, uh, just got a, a question, and this is a good question. I was gonna I was gonna ask you about this as well, but I kind of know the answer. Uh, Maureen is asking. I'm wondering why we switched switched from waste management to ACI. No complaints, just inquiring. And I think that goes kind of uh, to uh, the customer service uh, situation, correct? Absolutely, absolutely. Um, that was a great question, Maureen. And, and um, we uh, do a competitive bid about every 10 years um, for our solid waste services. Uh, prior to uh, the 2019, um, a contract change from waste management to a, uh, ACI. Waste management had been our um, waste hauler for 40 years prior to that. And, and like I said, we partnered with them back in 2001 to uh, bring in the, the food waste program. Um, but it is a competitive uh, environment and we put those bids out and we were very um, aggressive on what we wanted to see done as we moved forward. One of the things was having textiles collections, which we do. Uh, we also had performance metrics in um, the contract for the hauler to uh, partner with us to figure out ways to optimize um, waste reduction within the community. Also be part of our um, customer service and outreach components and, and really uh, ACI really stepped up and, and um, you know, waste management did a, did a, did a fine job for us, uh, but I can, I can simply say ACI is really doing a better job. And when I say for us, I'm not saying for CB Sand, I'm saying for the community of Castro Valley. Um, ACI uh, has been knocking it out of the park in, in our opinion uh, and what we've seen. And, 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 and that's not just based on some idle observation. We go out, we audit them, we see what they're doing, we, we make sure that their service levels are correct, uh, and we do take customer complaints very seriously when we get them. Uh, Roland, explain to me, give me a little bit of the backstory on the Center Street Building Project and give me an update where we're at now. Great, yeah, thank you, Robert. So um, I'm happy to announce that we have submitted the project into the county um, building. Um, for getting our building permit, um, and that takes about a month or two. Um, and so currently where we are is we're looking at um, uh, going out for bids in July. Wow. And so um, once we get bids, yeah, can't believe we're here. Right? That's wild, yeah. Um, and so hopefully if uh, everything goes well with, uh, with the process, with this final process with the county and obtaining the permit, and then going out to bid, we hope to have a selected contractor be awarded the contract in, in September. And somewhere 
uh, most likely in October or so, we're going to have a ground break. Uh, and we're going to, you know, welcome you, Robert. We're going to welcome, you know, um, the, the entire community to celebrate this project getting underway. That's so great. So the calendars for that, that's something we're going to be looking for. And, and Mike will certainly keep the community and, and you involved uh, aware of when that's going to take place. Um, you, you also asked about the journey to get to this to the, get to this place. Yes. So, um, back in 2010, uh, CB Sand, we basically outgrew our facility on Marshall Street, um, and and so we did a couple things. The first thing we did was we had pump stations around the district, um, so just storing all of the equipment that we need to um, um, effectively. Um, manage the wastewater and, and solid waste services. We just didn't have enough space for storage. Uh, at one point, we were renting storage from the village, the, the storage place across the street. Um, and so we wound up um, uh, obtaining, uh, building storage facilities at, at a couple of our pump stations. But that was very, um, uh, you know, we, we were very um, now apart from where our equipment was. And, that, and that's really reduced our efficiency. Second thing we had to do was we had to rent space down at uh, Patio Drive, actually, to, to house some of our staff. So we became very decentralized, uh, and that's really uh, been burdensome on trying to operate efficiently. Um, and so uh, in 2013, when the state was surplusing some properties, uh, we had sought out to get the property, the, uh, the Caltrash property there at, at Center Street, to be identified as one of those surplus properties, and we went through the process of buying it. So we, we acquired that property in 2013. Um, this was after the needs assessment to determine how much how much space we really actually need for um, our operations, both uh, from, the, from the, the work that we actually do in the field and the office staff that we need to be able to efficiently uh, provide the services to the community of Castro Valley. And, and therein uh, was birthed the project for um, uh, Central Street, which literally we've been working on for you know nine years, um, and we're finally getting to the point where we're actually going to start, you know, like I said, breaking ground, um, you know, pouring concrete, and, and getting this thing done. And that will allow you to consolidate your operations, and more importantly, protect the expensive equipment that you have. And I'm, I'm apologize, I'm answering your questions for you, but I, that's fantastic. Um, go ahead. No, I was just going to say, absolutely. You know, um, this is really going to be a, a significant savings in the long run. This is really a long-term goal. You know, uh, of uh, the district is 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 80 plus years old. We're we're, we're going on 85 years, um, and uh, that's always been at, at Marshall Street. And and as we have to continue to provide high quality service uh, in a highly regulated industry, uh, we need the, the additional uh, space to, to house everything that we're going to house. And Center Street is going to allow us to do that for the next 85. Um, and that's how we're uh, seeing that this project is going to serve the community of uh, Castro Valley for generations to come. That's great. Uh, I heard that there was some talk that uh, Hayward Parks might be interested in, in the, the um, Marshall location. Can, can you discuss anything about that? Has anything further happened with that? Yeah, I can discuss that a little bit. So, great. as you know, we're a public entity, and, um, and so we have to go through a very specific project process of how we uh, sell and dispose of our um, um, of, of lands that we have and so uh, there's a it's a very public process we're gonna need to put it uh, we're gonna have to surplus the property we would send it out to all um, public entities uh, that 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 would be interested in, in the in the property and also uh, low how low income housing um, entities that, that uh, fall under certain criteria that might be able to buy the property and do something with that as well. Um, Hayward Area Recreation District, HARD, uh, has approached us. We, um, and they are very interested in the, in the, in the property. Um, and they understand, the, they understand the process as well as we do because they are also a public entity. Um, 
and they have uh, stated they are very seriously interested in in our project or in our in our um, property. They think they can do some wonderful things to bring some of the the services and and the recreation uh, to Castro Valley uh, through that property. So we be we be excited to to partner with them, but it is a process that we have to go through. Um, we think we think hard has a really good chance. Um, however, through this process, there could be some other uh, public entity that might be interested in that property as well. Now, are they thinking of maybe a park, or or just to have the facility be some some offices in here in Castro Valley? Um, I, I would really want to let Hard speak to that. Okay. But what I would say is their 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 desire is is twofold. One is. In the back part of the property, obviously, we is where we stored a lot of our equipment, and there's like a um, there's there's like a, a facilities, you know, um, you know, component to that site, and so they want to they want to continue to use that uh, to be able to run some small vehicles out. Is, is my understanding to service the parks that are in Castor Valley and North Hayward would basically be serviced out of the at, be out of the, at that facility. The, 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 the administrative building, it's my understanding that they would want to do perhaps classrooms, uh, maybe the, our, maybe our boardroom would become some sort of a community room or something like that. But that's, uh, I'll be honest with you, Robert, that's secondhand to me, but that, that was why when they were coming into our building and kind of doing a little walk around and seeing what, what was there, that was kind of the thought that they were kind of, um, putting out there is that that might be a way they might want to use that property. That's awesome. Roland, uh, we're at the end of the show and I think I've taken up enough of your time, but I appreciate you joining us. And, and as always, definitely, it's a pleasure to talk to you and congratulations on 20 years. It, that's amazing. Time sure flies. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Robert. Thank you for having me. Thank you for the questions that, 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 uh, that your listeners had. Um, um, we're, we're always willing to um, um, in, in, interact with the community. Uh, and one last thing that I might say, uh, we do have community meetings once a month with the community uh, that's primarily focused on the people that are in and are around the project, but they are public meetings. Our next meeting is on May 10th. Um, and, and, you know, we just kind of get into the project a little bit, a little bit deeper. Uh, as it how, as it might pertain to people who might be affected who live directly in a, in and around the, the project, but anybody's welcome to come. Um, and and our, like again, our next meeting is going to be May tenth, and I believe that's at six o'clock. And if anybody's listening who may not be familiar with the project, they should definitely go check it out because it's not it's not like you guys just came up with here's just going to be this building. That building's a grand slam. It's a beautiful, be beautiful building, and I and I I, you know, I I saw a lot of the Mac meetings where uh, the the revisions came through and and uh, things came together. It's a beautiful building. Tip of the cap to you guys for really putting literally your money where your mouth is and making this a wonderful building that that Castor Valley is going to be very proud of. Oh, thank you, thank you, Robert. Thank you so much, Roland. Hope to see you around town sometime soon. Thank you again for your time. Absolutely. Congratulations. Bye-bye. Thank you, Roland, for joining us, and thank you for everyone who uh, hung around for uh, the rest of the show. There's actually two more things that I have on. Actually, there's three things on the list here, so we're definitely in overtime, guys. Thank you for your uh for continuing to listen. Uh, Christy says, thank you, CB San and CB News, for all you do for our community. You're welcome, Christy. Thank you for joining us. Uh, also, uh, <laughs> timing is everything. My mom just texted me and said, the sponsor. I am completely remiss in my duties here. Special thanks to the sponsor for the Midway giveaway. That is Forester.org. They are a local nonprofit with the mission to reforest urban communities. You can learn more of all the wonderful things that this nonprofit based in Castor Valley does for our community at F-O-R-E-S-T-R.org. They are awesome. They are cool. Check them out. Uh, Denise is leaving. Uh, uh, see you Saturday. Denise, have a wonderful evening. 
Oh, you, you know what? I'm just going to go through the entire list because, like, I, I say this every time. There's actually three more things on the list. Uh, actually, you know what? Let me save that for next week. Let me save that for next week. Uh, yes. Every show, I garner comments and compliments from my mom in regards to the last episode that we have done. So these are mom's critiques from Saturday's show. And the first one is, mom says, Castrovelli News and the fans are very generous. Generous, the Adopt Don't Shop program is awesome. Uh, <laughs> and also, Mom says the controversy regarding what to do with the list at the end of the show is funny. I think it's funny too because we've already got some comments uh, crumble and throw hard. So there's a that's Mom's critiques. I also want to let you know. Uh, definitely mark your calendar for uh, it's this Saturday. Excuse me, it's this Friday. Beg your pardon. I'm going to back up. This Friday will be the memorial mass for Larry Bronzini. He is he was the longtime uh, clerk at Al's Market. Larry was an awesome dude. Larry was just an amazing uh, gentleman, always in good spirits, always pleasant, always super, super helpful. And unfortunately, uh, he passed February 15 uh, at the age of 90. Uh, uh, seriously, uh, you will not find a person in Castro Valley who has a cross word or a bad word or a bad thing to say about Al. He was a gentleman. He was awesome. I saw him numerous times at Al's Market, and he was always pleasant, helpful, and he had uh, he had a wonderful sense of humor. So I definitely wanted to let you guys know, mark your calendars for two things. Uh, well, actually, just mark your calendar. Uh, Thursday is the classy canine wiggle rumps ribbon cutting 12 noon. But Friday, the 29th, uh, 11 a.m., Larry Bronzini's Memorial Mass will be held at Our Lady of Grace Church. The location for that is 33. 3433. Three, three. I beg my pardon. I beg your pardon as well. Friday, April 29, 11 a.m., Our Lady of Grace Church, 3433 three, Somerset Avenue. Anyone who knows or knew Larry is invited to attend. I'm sure this is that is going to be a long event because there's going to be a lot of folks who are going to want to. Uh, recall their memories of a wonderful gentleman in our community. Last thing I want to mention on the list here is also, uh, yes, uh, the Chamber mix Mixer is also Friday, uh, but also uh, mark your calendar. I want to remind you again one more time for this. This is awesome. Our own Chef Igor, who has done a number of restaurant reviews for us, and he did a uh, couple of cooking episodes with us, is doing a Dine for Ukraine fundraiser that is going to be May 1st at 5 or 7.30 p.m. It is at the Castro Valley Marketplace on the Boulevard. It's the old Daughtry building. The cost is $100. All of the money is going to be going to uh, grassroots efforts to help the people in Ukraine. There will be a three-course meal and one wine with additional wine flight available. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sing the praises of Igor right here, right now. Casarelli chef Igor Brayman is a Ukrainian-born culinary professional with extensive experience as an instructor, private chef, and caterer. He will be preparing traditional Ukrainian dishes with a twist to raise funds to help family and friends in Ukraine. Igor is from, Igor was born in Odessa, Ukraine. Uh, yes, the grassroots fundraiser, uh, the effort for that is to keep citizens with clothing, food, shelter, and equipped. Please join them. 
Uh, participating tenants include Akemi Sushi, Amphora Nueva, Baron's Meats, Cannery Kitchen and Tap, Castorelli Natural Grocery, Cordial Bottle Shop, Oaktown Spice, and Seven Hills Baking Company. Uh, Janella, thank you for the reminder. Chamber Mixer, 428, 530 to 730, Dig Deep Farms. That is Thursday. I apologize for saying that incorrect. Janella, thank you for the correction. Thursday, 428, 530 to 730, Dig Deep Farms. That is the Chamber, Casarelli Eden Area, Chamber of Commerce Mixer. Also on Thursday is Classy Canines. Wiggle Rump's grand opening at noon. There will be free pet grooming, free refreshments. Go there and have fun. Bring your pets. You'll be glad you did. With that said, thank you for everyone who sent stars. Congratulations to Paulette, who won the $20 gift certificate to AJ's Attic. Special, special thank you to Roland Williams with Castro Valley Sanitary District for all the information on what's happening at Castro Valley Sanitary District and congratulations to Roland for 20 years as a uh, general man at 20 years with CV San. Roland, you are awesome. Thank you so much for your time. Also, I want to thank the stars honor roll. Tiffany has sent stars 20 weeks. Paulette and Eileen have sent stars 18 weeks and my man Dennis has sent stars 19 weeks. If you want to send stars, there's still a couple minutes. I'm still blathering. There's an icon here. You click it. You spend a couple bucks. The money goes here to Castle Valley News or whatever may be your, <laughs> whatever your favorite live content creator on Facebook is. Hopefully it's Castle Valley News. But the cool thing is your money goes to us. There's a smidge that goes to Meta, but the majority of it goes to us. Someone just sent stars. There you go. Thank you, Meredith, for sending 50 stars. Meredith has sent stars seven weeks in a row. Meredith, thank you so much for your support. Thank you to everyone else who sent stars. Thank you to our stars honor roll. Again, thank you, Roland, for uh, sharing your evening with us to educate folks on what's happening with CV San up to date. Ladies and gentlemen, kids of all ages, that is the show. That is one hour and 16 minutes of good stuff, I think. Definitely good stuff hearing from Roland. We do the show Tuesdays and Saturdays from 7 to 8 p.m. There is a midway giveaway, Lucy Goosey, <laughs> during the middle of the show where I give away a gift certificate to a local business. I want to let you know, definitely, I purchased the gift certificates because I love sponsoring, uh, not sponsoring, I love supporting local businesses because I am a small business owner. I love going and talking to my fellow business owners and seeing how they're doing and uh, sh share some love monetary-wise by grabbing a gift certificate and giving them to you guys because I love you guys. You guys are awesome. Without you guys, this show would be just me and Hank sitting here. It would We would be just hanging out. It wouldn't. It would be nothing. Thank you guys for all that you do. My name is Roberto. Uh, as always, when the going gets weird, the word weird turn pro. I'll see you guys Saturday. I'm going to give this guy a kiss and say goodnight.